you are already in there. Mm -hmm. All right, we have our first person on. We are about to be live at 11.30 for Sister Circle Live TV Instagram style with Kiara Sheard. Uh, the new Clark Sisters movie is coming out, The First Ladies of Gospel. So she will be joining us in just a moment. Ms. Kiara Sheard from the amazing Clark Sisters. I know we have grip listening to them. Hey, Tiana, how are you? Hello, vegan goddess. All right, Kelly Cobbler. All right, we are here for Sister Circle Live TV Instagram lifestyle. We are waiting on Miss Kiara Sheard, singer extraordinaire. Uh, she is playing her sister, I mean, I'm sorry, her mother's uh, role for the First Ladies of Gospel, the Clark Sisters story. Um, it's going to be on Lifetime, and uh, we're very, very, very excited to have her here today. And we are going to meet with her. No. Miss Kiara. It's our request to be on my live. Yes, here we go. Go live with Miss Kiara Sheard. I tell y'all, thank God for this Instagram because it has helped us so much. Hello! Hey, how are you? I'm amazing. How are you today? I'm feeling good. I'm glad you're amazing. You look gorgeous. As do you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you, you have been just like popping all over the place this morning. Yes, yes. You, are, you are heavy on this grind. I am. I'm grateful for the opportunity, though. I'm like blown away. I was just watching not too long ago the video from this morning on Good Morning America, and I was mm -hmm. like, wow, dreams come true. And now I'm talking to Trina Braxton on Sister Circle TV live. <laughs> you know, uh, your Auntie Jackie is a good friend of mine as well. Yes, I, Auntie yes. Jackie just friends with all the good people. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. Yes, uh, and we, we grew up listening to your family forever and a day, okay? Yes, ma'am. And it's the same for me. You know, thank we, you, thank you. my mother wasn't the, um, as strict as Dr. Maddie Moss Clark, so I was able to listen, listen. to the Braxton's. <laughs> listen, Dr. Maddie, your grandmother is my mother, okay? <laughs> that happened to us our whole lives, okay? My mother would wake up, we had to sit by the piano, if something came to her, my mother taught us all how to sing. It was this story of the Clark sisters is so synonymous with the Braxton's. It's amazing. Five sisters over there, five sisters over here. Wow. You know, but so let's go ahead and get into, you know, this whole movie. And you play your mother, Miss Karen Clark Sheard, singer extraordinaire uh, in the Clark sisters, first ladies of gospel. So when this project came up, did you just know? that you were going to have a role in this film? I didn't. I didn't. And actually, to be honest, I didn't want to audition because I was really concerned about the Hollywood pressure. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of didn't want to do it, but I had some sense talking to me by my yeah. father, my mom, and my manager, Holly, who was an executive producer. And they were just like, listen, this is a big opportunity. And I don't know what's going on in your mind right now, but you really need to pull it together. So yeah. thank God for them. <laughs> but I didn't know that it would be, um, I didn't know that the opportunity would come and it would be like it was. I still had to audition, but I had to work for it. Wow. And they didn't just Hand it to me. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> so when, when did you know that you could act? You know what? I'm still trying to figure out if I can act. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did a phenomenal job. I, I had an opportunity to, to see the movie. Thank already, you. And it, you did a phenomenal job. It was like Thank looking you. at your mother, Young Virgin. Thank you. It was amazing. And how the how it just kind of came out, y'all came out, blazes going singing. Thank I was you. like, yes, this is amazing. Thank you. That does my heart well. I worked yes. with an acting coach. Uh, her name was Joe. I'm sorry. Are you saying something, Trina? I'm busy. <laughs> okay, okay. It was um, Josie Harris. If And if I'm talking over you, I'm not doing it on purpose. That's not how I was raised. But <laughs> Josie, um, Josie Harris, she was my acting coach, and she was on my head. So she was very helpful. And we did, because um, she's in Chicago. And so we did practice runs like over the phone and that was really cool and interesting. So it was really special. Yes. So what was the hardest part about playing your mother? 
the hardest part about playing her, I, I, I talk a little bit more <laughs> than she does. So having to be a bit more reserved and chill and um, she's the youngest and I'm sure you know when you're older or have somebody behind you, you're used to having. Uh oh, sorry. sorry, somebody called. You, we're used to. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. We're used to having to protect some. Not call it back to back. No, we're not gonna do that. Um, <laughs> sorry. This is live IG people. Okay. <laughs> But um, the, the, the challenge for me was having to be more reserved, to chill out a bit more. Mm -hmm. And I noticed like in my interview or my mom's interviews with her sisters, the sisters talked more than she did. But when it was time for her to sing, she came out the gate like a monster. So I had to kind of drop into that and realize that this is not Kiera. This is your mom as the young sister. And it's not yes. even mommy because mommy is different from Kiera and the sister. So yeah. that was the challenge for me. And um, like I said, not talking so much. So I would be like, I want to respond to that. And they're like, this is a movie. <laughs> it's a role. It's not real yes. life. That's, so yes. that was the challenge for me. Wow. So, okay. The executive producers of this movie is Queen Latifah, Mary J. Blige, Missy Elliott. I mean, you got big name on top of big name. You know what I mean? So what was it like working with them as the EPs of, yes. the, of this movie? Um, it was really special. It's a dream come true for me. Like, I'm super grateful and blown away. I was the Missy diehard fan that was, like, dressed in the plastic bag, the black plastic black, yes. doing the, you know, doing that. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I'm a fan of all three of them. And, and Mary J, like, super diehard. Auntie Queen is just... I was blown away at how major these women are and mm -hmm. how much of game chamber changers they are and how they were so open to embracing new talent and, and giving people a different opportunity and to see their response and feedback to the film that made me believe in myself more and want to go harder. But one mm -hmm. other thing that I enjoyed working with, uh, yeah, working with them, about working with them, was how humble they were. Yeah. Um, and it, it's like, it doesn't matter how big you become. Always remember that somebody gave you a chance, so you give the next person a chance. But also remember to be sweet and kind and give the pointers that you can to empower someone else so that they can be whatever it is that they need to be. So it was a tremendous experience having the feedback. They weren't on the set, but I do know Missy was like, y'all better get this right because I have a, rela a relationship with her. Mm -hmm. So she was like, y'all better get this right. Don't come with no cheesy stuff. So that felt really good as well. Well, okay, we are not going to ignore the fact that you were a game changer yourself, okay? Uh, thank you. Oh, of course. Thank you for your contribution to the gospel community, okay? But, uh, but my question is, in working with these ladies, Queen Latifah, Mary J. Blige, uh, Missy Elliott, and even though you say that they weren't necessarily on, um, on the set most of the time, did you learn any music industry secrets from them? Um, yes, from the from Missy, Mary J. Blige, and Queen Latifah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah. like, I'm seriously like a Michael Jackson fan to Mary. And I've always wanted to be, because first of all, I remember when Missy was a plus size girl. Mm -hmm. Um, sh she was always fly. She didn't let nothing stop her. Mm -hmm. Then it wasn't as popular as it is now where they're mm -hmm. embracing the curvy woman. Yeah. So she, they all, and oh, Auntie Queen too. She was curvy and kind of more plumpier than what she is now. Right. Um, so they all have empowered me and inspired me to own who I am and to not back down, to stick to my guns because you never know what the world may deem as a flaw or an issue. That mm -hmm. may be your way of connecting with who you're responsible for as far as an assignment or your demographic or whatever it is. So mm -hmm. they definitely inspired me. And then um, Mary, I'm always like, if you catch me on stage now, I'm always like rocking like her. Like, I gotta do the rock, the MJB rock. <laughs> so I'm obsessed <laughs> with Yeah, man. I can't believe that somebody is calling me back to back. I don't even like talking on the phone. That's annoying. But being transparent, sorry, because she keeps calling. 
but being transparent and um, it's just, it's just all embracing all of what they're saying. Can you hear me? Are you there? I can hear you. I'm here. Okay. I'm sorry. Did you hear me? I, I don't know if, if what else you heard. I'm sorry. I think I heard more than the people did because I have my pods in. So you're, you're, you're good. This is good. But okay. now, I'm, I'm going to tell you, even with all of these icons, you and your family are definitely amongst them. And we're going to talk about your new project. And this is the sixth month, because we're not going to talk about the fact that you've been around the block a couple of times with this music career thing, okay? This is your sixth album, but this is your single, and it's called It Keeps Happening, and that's out now. Yes. So, uh, well, it's not out yet, but it's coming out April 17th. Okay, okay. Yeah. So the movie is um coming out tomorrow. This weekend, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the the album, I'm so excited about it. Uh it's it it keeps happening. It's super personal for me because for a long time I felt like I was hitting the ceiling and I felt like I had been praying and asking the Lord to do some things in my life and it just was not happening. And so finally I had kind of gotten annoyed in my friendship with the Lord, like, okay, are you there or not? And um, he dealt with me and I got convicted and he uh, sent me to a scripture in Isaiah. <clears throat> and it says, behold, I'm doing a new thing. Come and on. when I paid attention to that scripture, um, the Lord just was like, it's not coming to you the way you want me to come to you or give it to you. Mm -hmm. But realize that I'm giving you the opportunity with Macy's. I'm giving you the opportunity to have a partnership with RCA. So don't yeah, look yeah. for the familiar. Yeah. Don't look for the, in the movie. Don't, don't look for the familiar way of a blessing. But see that I'm doing a new thing. And so um, I said, you know what? I'm going to stop responding in a negative way by saying, why is this happening to me? And now I'm going to make it a declarative way of living and mm -hmm. saying it keeps happening for me. The good things are happening for me. And so that's where this song came from. It came from my heart. And I was like, it's not just a season for me. This mm -hmm. is not going to mm -hmm. expire. This is me stepping into time. And so I hope that it's inspiring someone. Um, if you've listened or if you've not, please take a listen. And then the record... I've done music with so many greats, and um, I can't wait for y'all to hear it. It's special, it's well-rounded, and it's a good mixture. All right, pay it. Yes, that's what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so, so let's go back to uh, the Clark Sisters First Ladies of Gospel that premieres, like you said, on Saturday, April 11th at 8 o'clock on the iPhone. we got to make sure we plug that in. Um, did you learn anything new about <clears throat> your mom or your aunties and what they went through as gospel artists? Um, when you worked on this project that, you, that you've that never known before? I did. Um, so I didn't know that my grandmother had gone through so much mm -hmm. um, with her being the trailblazer that she is. Uh, I didn't know that she had gone through um, an abusive relationship with my pop, my pop pop. Um, and I didn't know that she had so much opposition with the church. Mm -hmm. um, what else? I didn't know Auntie Twinkie was so young and had gone through so much, with mm -hmm. so much pressure. And then I think I feel, I'm sorry if y'all think I'm being biased, but I've always thought that the Clark sisters and my Aunt Twinkie, especially because she's a female musician, I've always thought that they were underrated. Is that the word? Yeah. So I didn't know, though, that she sold her catalog for a car. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm glad she got it back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, but there were some similar things too that I found in myself, like with my aunt Twinkie, as far as like choosing the wrong men. And I noticed that my aunt Twinkie and I we shared some similarities there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you talk about breaking generational things. It's like, yes. okay, I see where it's coming from. You try yes. to figure out where did that come from? Mm -hmm. um, not blaming it on her, but it was somewhere in the bloodline. So, well, generational curses are real. You know, yeah. so you don't know that it's real. We know it was real. Right. right. Absolutely. So you feel me. Yeah, but I that's do. what I didn't know. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Because, uh, you know, a lot like your family with your aunties, it wasn't that we were just part of the choir. We had to be the choir. Like, we had right. to, like, step out and do the parts just like your aunties did. My mother was the same way. Tony, Tracy, Trina, Tawanda, come here. These are the voices, soprano, alto, tenor. Okay, this is how it's supposed to sound. I'm like, uh, but back then we didn't know, wow. you know, what our role was, but it was to, to be that choir 
especially under our father, who was a minister, my wow. mother being a, a, a minister's wife, the first lady of the church, and having to, you know, position herself like, okay, no, I'm not trying to be Joe Jackson, just like my mother thought too. She was like, they better than the Jackson, but we weren't, I'm not saying better than the Jacksons, people, so they come at me. But what I am saying is, we had to be all the same things that your aunties were. Yeah. So, that's all I'm saying. But as an artist today, <clears throat> and you know, I, you, how did you know that you were going to follow in the footsteps of your family and be a gospel artist? I didn't know it because I wanted to do nails, hair. I wanted to do <laughs> everything different from them. Um, I knew that I wanted to make good money, uh, but I didn't know that I would go and do the music. However, that did shift once I saw how effective I was and with the gift that God had given me. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember for my first time, and I think one of my first tours out of the country, we had gone to Japan and we were doing performances in, um, in clubs. And because they're not a Christian based nation over in that country. So when we had gone over in Japan, I'll never forget there was um, a Japanese young girl who wrote a letter for me and she gave me a teddy bear. And she said, I don't know what it is that's different about your music but it makes me feel refreshed. She wrote it in mm -hmm. English for me. And, wow. um, and she also said that there's a light when you sing. And she said, it's like a spotlight. And she said, I, I, don't, I don't believe, she, I think she, yeah, she wrote in the letter, I don't believe what you believe, but there's definitely something different and spiritual about you. Mm -hmm. I never forgot it. And from that moment on, I was like, okay, maybe I just, I think just singing is my calling. Like maybe mm -hmm. it's to where I need moments in my life Sorry. Life and in my career, where I was just like, all right, let's do it. Well, you know, I got to be real about it. You know, sometimes what we want for ourselves is not always what God has in store for us. So, so you know, in your bloodline, you all's lineage runs like deep. I mean, like, Jay Moss is like, isn't that your cousin? Yes. When his singing, singing behind, though, exactly. it's just like, you guys just have, if there's so much talent encapsulated in one family, it's just like almost unreal. Thank so when, you. when you talk about your bloodline, you talk about generational curses, you guys have generational blessings too Absolutely. because it keeps getting passed down and passed down to your kids. Even Angel, you know, um, Miss Jackie Clark's daughter. Yes. You know, it's, just, it's like so many of you are so talented. And <laughs> with that talent, what advice can you give to the up and, com up and coming artist that has a dream? Whether it's secular or gospel. <clears throat> I would say go for it. I would, and that's what this movie I have been just doing. I've not been waiting on anybody. Um, don't wait for anything. There's so much that God has basically allowed us to have at our fingertips. I believe God has the authority of every door, even the doors that are shut. I believe he just will make a way for you. There are so many opportunities that have come um, and have been able to be listed on my resume or a part of my career, not just by management and PR. It's been like that Macy's thing. That was God's favor. That was my cousin sending me a link that I thought was wow. spam. And I said, let me try it. So really be prayerful and go for it. And sometimes you got to be your own cheerleader. And remember too, I say it often, the village is not just for the child. The village is for the adult. So it's so yes. good to have healthy relationships around you, but also walk in the authority. Like I was doing some um, Bible study now not too long ago and the word tells us that we have dominion and Come to have on. dominion that means you have authority when That's you have right. authority and when you know who you are as far as royalty you move mm. different you ain't worried about what they're saying about Ooh. you being the or stuck up you just walk in victory you walk as like I'm more than a conqueror. So I would just encourage whoever it is to stick to your gun, stay passionate, have people around you who believe in you, that support you, and make sure you don't have no demonic forces around you. Because sometimes come on, come our on. friends will speak who we think are our friends. The enemy can use them and speak against what maybe the Lord has put in our hearts. So really stick to it, stay passionate, and, and, and dive into that word. I mean, I'm a woman of faith. And that is what has gotten me through and it allowed me Ooh. to be clear. So really keep going for it. You have a whole anointing over you and your life. I'm telling you, because I mean, it is permeating through just even the telephone, okay? Thank or whoever you. is watching this on Instagram. It's, oh my, I love it. I love you. Thank you. I love you I too. Do. And I know that you have to go because I know you have another interview set up. But I'm going to tell you, people ask about your dreams and aspirations. I'm going to tell you mine. The Braxons, the Clarksons, Clark sisters, 
single together. Boom. It life. has to happen. It has to happen. Oh my God. The breath is in the car. To... need to do a song together. It has the whole family. Everybody. Yes. yes. All ten of us. Together. <laughs> and that probably would be so much fun. Ooh, wouldn't it though? Yes. I'm gonna call Auntie Jackie in, in a little bit after we get off the phone. Listen, I'm in your corner. I want to make that happen. So you talk to your mama, and I'm gonna talk to Miss Jackie, Auntie Jackie, and uh, we're gonna make it happen, happen. <laughs> <laughs> I surely yes, will. Yes, this is Kiara <clears throat> Sheard, extraordinaire. Guys, make sure on Saturday, which is tomorrow, you guys watch the Clark Sisters First Ladies of Gospel on Lifetime, where you can see Kiara play her mother, Miss Karen Clark Sheard. Is everything. I uh, appreciate you coming here today. We know that you have a plethora of interviews to do. So, um, you know, Godspeed. God be, God, God be before you when you go in these places, if you have to, especially if you have to go in, in live. So, we love you. We love your family. And, uh, <laughs> family. And guys, the family. Uh, <laughs> and, guys, don't forget her single come I, on the 17th and call it It Keeps Happening, April 17th. So, can they listen to it now? Yes, you can actually get the single. It's three songs that are out, and you can pre-order the record on all digital platforms. So please, and thank you so much. I love you, Miss Trina. Thank you for the I love opportunity. You. I love you. I love your whole family. Thank you. We I love you. you. We got to make it happen. All 10. It's got to all 10. All the 10. The great one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I know you have to go, but thank you so much for taking this time out with us. We'll see you soon. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Darling. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> she is the cutest ever. Oh, that was amazing. That was just an amazing time. Thank you all for coming in and for watching. Uh, uh, don't forget, Sister Circle comes on today at 12. Chef Cam is going to be making his delicious avocado toast. I wish he could come over to my house and make some right now, but he can't. Uh, it is Love Week here on uh, Sister Circle on uh, TV One at 12. You guys can catch up with us on that. Uh, we are talking all things love, especially loving that avocado toast with Cooking with Cam. And hey, Cooking with Cam. Hey, Ayanna Reese. Hey, everyone. Hey, Rashawn. Um, hey, Sheree. Tiana. Uh, that was an awesome time. I will see you guys. I hate to talk about the Lord and talk about this. I will see you guys. Yes, you. Hey, bye. Um, we'll, at 4 o'clock rock, we'll be talking about all things girls. So uh, make sure you... Uh, Log on to Trina Braxton One's live, and we will be doing our four o'clock rock. And I will see you guys very soon. Uh, all right, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.